going on guys so this is finally happening I've had this body this used to be the ramp truck ramp truck started out with that 58 Apache body and a 3d printed ramp bed with the wood floor and then once we got it up and running it wouldn't turn <laughs> had air suspension wouldn't turn so I had this and I hadn't done anything with it so I painted it tan and white like my grandpa's old truck and put the cab on the ramp truck it was a ramp truck for a while but it was overly complicated and it didn't hold up over time after a couple trips to USTE in Florida it kind of just started not working so we tore it apart um, it was a treasure trove of spacers and hardware and rods and stuff that I really needed for other projects at the time and um, we've actually <laughs> this was a piece of the original ramp bed frame that we used in the chassis development of this I've just picked it up out of my storage unit the other day just the three pieces of aluminum because it had some hardware and an aluminum rod on it and uh yeah come in handy so i've been the reason this hasn't happened is because i wanted to do it like the rat rods i wanted to have the square tube frame split it have actual actual c channel have an independent front a solid rear axle and it's just there's so many obstacles with that it's hard to even get started <clears throat> um, i mean yeah we can take a touring car hack the front easy peasy but if you're going all out with the frame you don't want all that plastic stuff in the front so that was discouraging number one thing discouraging number two was the rear axle so with these are 2.2 vanquish wheels or crawler bead locks i know but they looked the part with some buggy narrow or medium wide buggy tires but uh you put that on a yoda axle even with the narrowest offset hub on these vanquish wheels and they just were too wide so it, you couldn't keep a live axle back there. Then you've got to try step notch the frame. You got to triangulate four link and do all that, which can be done. But I just I still haven't got the setup here for getting back into that kind of build. Um, you know, I'm still living with family right now. I can't get the property I was trying to buy. Things are just not working out right now. So I don't have a welder. I don't have all the tools I need at the moment still. So leads us to where we are. I put up. A few rigs, nothing good, don't worry. I was trying to sell some stuff on Facebook, nobody buying anything. So I was sitting there looking at this TTO2. Um, I think by now the video, I bought a new TTO2R. Built it and we're going to run it and just have some fun with it. But I had this old TTO1 I bought used on eBay. It didn't even have ball bearings or nothing. And I was just trying to sell it for like 70 or 80 bucks. And no, no bites, so it was sitting here looking at me. And I'm like, I wonder how wide that chassis would be under this truck so I found the truck in the box got it out and here we are <laughs> so the front suspension is perfect these are still the zero offset hubs on these wheels we got all kinds of space in there to turn uh, the vanquish wheels on the rear I've swapped in like a plus four or plus six hub and they are right at the wheel at the wheel arch so it's going to be tight back there um, still trying to work on ride height but Anyway, I'm getting a cart ahead of the horse here. So let me take this beautiful thing apart here so we can look at what we've done. So you saw me there at the end. I thought I'd just found the end-all be-all of solutions for the front body mount with the box that the servo came in. <laughs> and I had it scored, and I was I did, just didn't get patient enough. I was running out of time to film for the day. And uh, I scored it a little bit and tried to snap it, and that plastic wasn't having it. So it snapped down below where my line was so now it won't reach the body mounts inside the truck i thought that was going to be the perfect radiator slash core support slash body mount thing um, i may have another one of those boxes laying around we'll give it another try but I, <laughs> it just worked out great these tto2s have the same mount front and rear so i just flipped that around set it on the back marked and drilled the holes flipped it upside down stuck it on the front and uh yeah thought that was going to work out well Everything else is working out well, though. So I haven't pulled any of the gear out of the front, but I did remove the drive shaft because obviously now it's two inches too short. So we just chopped this frame 
wherever. It wasn't anywhere in particular. I was trying to leave enough space back here so the motor's protected. Tried not to get into the servo area. And the rest is history. This metal is just some stuff I had. It was a nice thickness. And uh, yeah, just aluminum angle. I incorporated the servo mounts on this side. It does hit the floorboard on this side. This truck does have a full interior. So what I'm thinking, we're going to use this micro servo that I've since misplaced. There it is. So I may move the other mount over. And that should hopefully get us, if that mount will even work. These little servos are funny with their ears. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Oh, we can worry about it now. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. So we can mount that high or low. And, uh, yeah. I may just mount this mount somewhere in there. may even chop the top of it off and get the servo down low. And there should be room for the horn. I've got a nice uh, machined reefs servo horn for the little servo. I didn't have any more reefs little servos, so... That was one I had sitting around. That's a JD Power, I think. It's one of the RC four-wheel drive ones they use for their hydraulic pumps on the construction stuff. So, we've got steering sorted out, which is rare for these kind of custom builds. Usually the rat rods, that's the thing we're stuck with at the end, trying to figure out. So, again, this truck, this chassis has no ball bearings. You can see it's a, there's a plastic bushing right there. But the motor and everything will be in the bed. Um... You see I've got some extra holes cut in that bed floor back there. It was already cut for me just mocking it up, trying to slam it, and trying to do air ride, and trying to do all the stuff I always try and do. This will not have adjustable suspension. It's going to set low, it's going to have a good rake, and it's going to look like a sport truck, I think. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, honestly, the air suspension could easily be fit to this. Uh, with the body on the chassis, we have another inch of hood clearance and in the back we've got another inch of staying underneath the bed cover. We're going to have to make a bed cover for it. You don't want to see that. So now you got me thinking about air ride. <laughs> Only issue with that is then we'll have camber in the rear and it won't look scale. So I don't know. Something to think about. So this is like, again, some it's pretty thin. This is 8th inch uh, aluminum angle. And I just, everywhere there was a corner, stuck a piece in. I bolted these through the middle, through the uh, chassis. So it should be as rigid as it was to start with, if not better. Got a couple in the floor, a couple through the sides, just keep everything jiving and square. The wheelbase, pretty pretty easy to figure out. Where's my tape measure? Let's see how much we actually did. Oh lord. It is two and a quarter inch. That's exactly how much longer <laughs> it is for a TF2 long wheelbase frame, basically, is what this body will fit. So again, this is a K5 Blazer body from RC Four Wheel Drive. It's been back walled. It's been cut off. You can see the bed floor. It's been extended with a second body. The Blazer body would end about here. And uh, yeah, it's had about an inch added onto it. So it is a proportionate, correct, short wheelbase, straight side bed. And uh, yeah, this is going to look so cool. But yeah, I just, uh, on a whim, decided to give this a shot. I had this chassis, wasn't trying to do nothing with it. And uh, here we are. So I'm going to wrap part one up here, guys. I need some time to think about this body mount situation. I did already kind of figure out the rear. I've got holes drilled there and I've got a spacer. I think they're eight mil spacers and it bolts straight there. Now I've got to do something for the front. I'm still trying to decide if I want to bolt the cab and the bed together and put some spacers in there so we can set that without fighting with two separate pieces and then we can come in the middle with one place or the other and find a way to attach everything so I don't know got a lot to think about and uh, yeah I'm gonna wrap it up with this let me put this thing back together give you one more one more look at it because it is it's pretty sweet looking. all right <laughs> got it pretty well squared away the body is just about flush with the bottom of the chassis probably an eighth of an inch of a rocker below the chassis be perfect ride height I think again we got plenty of steering clearance up front with that offset on the wheel so I think this thing is gonna be awesome I've got to find a tailgate and the tail lights I don't know where any of that stuff went and uh, yeah that's bad I know I've got it painted I painted the tailgate to match I have no idea where the box of stuff with the tail lights is though so got a lot of looking but anyway guys I'm gonna wrap it up Stay tuned for part two to come soon. 
and keep it scale. See y'all next time.